What's going on guys, Linus here, and welcome back to Civilization 5. Again, a big thanks to Emmy um, of introducing Emmy for making the title card slash thumbnail. It looks amazing. Um, I'm going to be playing as, as Napoleon this time around, as friends. I'm going to be trying to go for a cultural victory. And uh, these are pretty much the settings we're going to be using. I figured I would um, play on a different kind of map. We're going to be playing on Europe, um, I think. Just the, the, the actual Europe map that is in the game. I don't know if, if any of you guys actually know this or not, but... There's only a few types of maps here, but if you go into the... Oh, crap. If you go into the advanced setup, then there's, uh... There's way more options. There's lots of different options, and I like playing all kinds of different maps. I'm not really sure, um... Uh... Change of Islands and City State Placement. I'm not really sure which one I should play. There's some really interesting ones. Primarily the desert. Small continents, um, there's lots of interesting, um, interesting maps to play. I personally really like playing the Americas map, which is, where is it, Americas, there it is. Um, it's just America, and you've got North America, South America, but I figure for friends we're going to be playing on, um, on a Europe map. Because it's, uh, it's fitting. I'm going to be playing with random civilizations, um, allow policy saving, let's turn that off. Promotion saving, let's turn that off. Complete kills is on, so you have to destroy every single unit that someone owns to get them out of the game. And that's pretty much it. Also, we're going to be playing on Epic Game Pace, which is a little bit slower. Um, and also, difficulty level will be 5, which is King uh, Hard. Uh, it's a little higher than the last time, but I'm still not, you know, really into the game to the point where this is going to be easy. So there's still a chance that I'm going to lose very quickly. Um, I guess we're just going to see what happens. And that is pretty much all. Um, as for how I'm going to upload this, there's a, a bunch of changes that I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to be doing... Making? I'm going to be making a few changes. I'm going to make the videos around 20 minutes. Um, for a simple reason, actually. I have to pay to get that title card and thumbnail made. And if I make really long videos and the game is over really long, then I'm actually losing money on making videos. And last time, I think I didn't even make that money back that I spent on making the title card, but it just it just looked like a really cool thing to do. So I'm going to keep doing it, but I'm going to make the videos a little bit shorter and upload them during weekdays only. So no Civilization videos during the weekends. Um, five videos a week. Uh, around 20 minutes. It's uh, 20 minutes is pretty much the sweet spot between, you know, like 40 to 30 minutes is way too long for most people, and 10 to 15 is a little bit too short for civilization. So I'm gonna go with around 20 minutes, and I hope that you guys understand that, you know, I'm not trying to make like as much money as I can because I, I actually spend money to make these thumbnails. It's just, I want to try and at least break even, you know, on the costs. I don't really care about making money, as long as I don't really lose too much money on it, then that is fine with me. So that's what I'm going to do. If you do not understand, if you're really angry at me, then, uh, I don't know, talk to me in the comments or whatever, and I'll explain it to you in, in more detail. So let's just, you know, let's just get started, and uh, here we go. Long life and triumph to you. First Consul and Emperor of France. Napoleon I, ruler of the French people. France lies at the heart of Europe. Long has Paris been the world center of culture, arts, and letters. Although surrounded by competitors and often enemies, France has endured as a great nation. Its armies have marched triumphantly into battle from one end of the world to the other, its soldiers and generals among the best in history. Napoleon Bonaparte, France yearns for you to rebuild your empire to lead her once more to glory and greatness, to make France once more the epicenter of culture and refinement. Emperor, will you ride once more against your foes? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Okay, so that is the sweet intro for Napoleon, and um, basically his uh, unique ability or bonus right now is that he gets... Um, Ancien Regime. I don't know, I, I, my French is absolutely terrible. Ancien Regime. And he basically gets plus two culture per turn from cities before discovering steam power. Um, he has the Foreign Legion and the Musketeer. Uh, guys, this one replaces the Musket Man. This one replaces the... What is it? Great War Infantry. And they, I think they get a bonus when they fight outside of friendly territory. There you go. And these guys are just a little bit better than the Musket Man. It's pretty dope. 
Well, let's start. Okay, so like I said, I'm not going to be reloading. I'm just going to start with the start we get, and that will just be it. Um, but this one is actually quite nice. As you can see, we are starting right next to a coast with whales. Awesome. They're stones, which are great for production. They also give uh, a little bit of food and some gold. And we have actual gold, which is great uh, to have in the beginning. Because it will give us... Um, it's going to give us a lot of money. Uh, so we're just going to found Paris right here and send the warrior out to explore. Uh, as you can see, we're making three culture per turn. Which may not seem like a whole lot, but it's a lot more than the other civilizations because they're getting one culture per turn. So we have to make good use of that little head start right there. And let's just see. I want to get to... I think I should get to mining so that we can get the, um, the gold, which would be sweet to have. So let's just start with actually... I don't really... See, I'd like to, to also have shrines. Let's just start with pottery. It's not like we have a worker yet. And then we're going to get to uh, to shrines. So let's start out with a monument. We are working that, not that tile. I guess as soon as this city grows in number, we're going to get that tile as well. Which is great for both production and gold. Because it's on a hill. And it's a gold, you know, gold resource. So it gives us three coins, coinies, which is pretty great. Oh, and then there's whales, which are not actually that amazing, as you can see. Oh, actually, no, wait, they are. Okay, so it showed they actually add one food and one gold. So in total, that's two food, two gold. It's pretty great for growing. Um, let's just go with next turn. Let's just see the, where the other cities are going to make their cities. That's the end of turn zero. And go. We're going to go look around for ancient ruins. Uh, every barbarian... Oh, my God, what is that? That looks like a border. It could just be, and I really hope it is just a river, but it could be a border of another civilization. Man, maybe it's a little too thin to be that. Let's. Uh, we're gonna go find out about that. See if if, the, if if it is what I think it is, then we're in big trouble. Okay, it's not what I think it is. Thank God. I thought it looked like the border of uh, America, which is I think blue and white, but it's not there. We're cool. Totally cool. I do see a city state over there though. It's orange. I wish I knew from the top of my head which city-states are like what color, but I don't. Oh, it's Cape Town. 30 gold. They have silk, maritime, and they, um... I think they give food if you're their friend, basically. Hey, dude. They do not fear my military. They do not have an ally. So they don't give me anything, but if I complete a quest for them, then they will like me, and I'm gonna try and do that. Basically, we're gonna try and play this game super defensively. Because we're going for that culture victory, and I'm not going for domination or anything like that. All I really care about is, um, is getting culture. That's pretty much it. Oh, we're pissing off Cape Town already. Let's try not to do that. Let's just leave. There you go. Let's see, so we got Paris for um, producing a monument. Ooh, La, 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 La Venta? La Venta? I don't know. If it's Spanish, it's La, Be La Venta. That's cool. That's cool. Pantheon found it. How are they so quick? Oh my god, it has to be, um... God, it has to be... What? What is her face? Boudica of the Celts? I'm not... I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly, but I don't care. Um, but she gets a bonus to faith if she's right next to forests that are not improved. So my guess would be that it is in fact her. And I'm pissing them off. They also have wills. Good for them. Paris has grown, and we are now also, yep, we're working that one, so that should give us some more food. Huh, I thought it would grow a little bit faster than this, but I, I guess not. Yeah, I know I'm trespassing, I'm leaving, don't worry. Okay, we may adopt a policy, so I have to think about this real hard. Gain culture for every barbarian killed. Liberty will give you one culture in every city, and this will give you plus three culture in the capital, which is actually quite great, so I'm gonna go with that. Which means that we're making 8 culture per turn, which is not that much, I mean, but it, we're already at turn 12. Uh, towards the end of the game, that's gonna just be a crazy huge amount. Now, let's see. We're gonna start working on a scout, and as soon as possible, we're gonna actually break off that work that we've done. The production. And we're gonna start making a shrine. I wanna try and get faith as soon as possible. 
workshop. There we go. Let's break up that scout production and switch to a shrine. And let's get that going. And then let's uh, start focusing on mining so we can get that gold. Which would be awesome to have next turn. We don't really need any military units quite yet, I think. Maybe a scout would be nice to have, but that is pretty much it. I think we're in Spain. Are we in Spain? I did pick the Europe map, didn't I? Because it kind of reminds me of Spain. Oh, hey, it's you. Ram Kumihang. I haven't seen that guy in forever. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay, so that's actually quite good. I think that he's not really the warmongering type. So we should be okay. Ooh, pearls. Nice. I actually think I want to make my second city somewhere over here, because there's really lots of great stuff. Lots of uh, forests. There's basically tiles that give everything. Pretty nice. Free culture building. I'm going to go with, I think... So I don't really need this. I don't really need that, because I'm not making wonders. I don't really need that either, because I don't have any units. So we're going to go with Liberty. It's another one culture per turn, and then we're going to get the... Uh, the free worker, and then hopefully by the time we have him, which should be about 10 turns, um, we hope, yeah, we have mining, so we can, you know, just have him start on that gold and uh, make a quarry for the stone, or mine, I don't really know what they make with stone, I think it's a mine, or is it, no, it's a quarry, it's a quarry, it's, I'm still not sure, I'm totally bluffing here, okay, next turn, barbarians are showing up. I actually looked up this little table with information about all this stuff. And basically, barbarians, if you play on, I think, settler difficulty, they can't even enter your, um, your, your domain, basically. They can't enter your borders. It's pretty interesting stuff. Lots of statistics for this game. So if you're really into numbers, like I am, then that's really, literally cool to read up on, on things like that. Rekamayang is, is number one. I'm just gonna keep pronouncing it like that. I know that it's 100% incorrect. But I just, it's the best I can do, really. So, you know, deal with it. I don't think there's there's gonna be a lot of people watching anyway that actually know how to pronounce it. So they're probably not gonna get really mad at me. Let's go. I picked a very unfortunate start to go exploring because there's nothing here. I was hoping to find at least a few ancient ruins, but there really isn't anything. Next turn, I think I might just buy a scout. Because that would be a huge help. You know what? I'm gonna buy a scout. I could also buy other stuff, but I wanna have a scout. Because we don't have one right now. Paris is almost done with the shrine. Mining has been completed. I feel like next should be... Oh man, this is a toughie. Um, I think I should just go with animal husbandry because that is one of the first things and you can get to see horses and I Have a feeling like there's gonna be a horse in one of these four tiles. So I guess we're gonna go find out about that Have I received a quest yet? I don't think I have nope. They are still a little bit angry though Decreases oh well, whatever so, You know what deal with that dude. I totally trespassed and let's have that scout go on onto that hill. Ooh, more wheels. And now we shall make... Oh man, I was already building a scout. I totally forgot about that. Um... Yeah. Okay, that was kind of dumb of me. Let's just start building a warrior. Just have that extra little defense that I never actually go for in the beginning. But now that I'm playing on difficulty level 5, I'm just really scared that something bad is gonna- Oh, ruin, sweet. That something bad is gonna happen to me and then I'm gonna be just erased from the game that quick. So I wanna try and just get some warriors. Yeah, this- I don't know where I am. What is this? I guess if England was like over there, then this should be... Portugal would be this- like this part and then th this would be Spain. It still kind of fits. It could be. I don't know. Uh, give me a free worker. I would very much appreciate that. And worker, you can immediately get to work because that's what you do. Because you're a worker and you can go make me a mine. For my precious, precious gold. And then we're going to have extra happiness. Which we might need soon. Oh, look. More barbs. Barbies. What is that? Oh, it's just a mountain. Construct me a mine. I need that gold. 
And then soon after, I'm going to start making a quarry for the, um, for the stone. Because I would like, oh, wheat. Wheat and silver. I would like to have, um, that extra little production. Because food is not going super well, and we might have to make a granary soon. Because that would be kind of a big help. Big help. There we go. That is Rakmyang. I can, I can see that now. You can easily see that the AI is cheating because this guy has had to have made a second city. That really is the only option for him to get that many points that early on. He has a general already? What in the hell? How is that even possible? I'm not even generating any great people. You know, that is some bull. Oh, wait, maybe... Technically, he could have adopted that one. Which does give him a general. So maybe he did that. It's not impossible. It's probably bullshit, but hey. Whatever. Oh, crap. I'm okay. I'm sorry about trespassing. I'm totally just moving on. And Scout will go over there. He's got some sweet silver. So we're not too close to him. We're at a pretty, you know, comfortable distance. I'm probably going to go south when I when I expand my, uh, my empire. Just scouting, dude. Just scouting. Okay, so they are uneasy because of a barbarian... Probably this one or something over there. Um, and also, Bucharest, or Bu I don't know how English people pronounce that. Is it Bucharest or Bucharest? I, don't, I have no idea. Maybe it's something entirely different. Maybe it's Bucha, Bucharest. I, have, I, don't, I don't know. I've never heard anybody that's English say that, so. Heard anyone that. Yeah, that, no, that was a correct sentence. Um, okay, let's see. I feel like we should go with writing. Um, because I want to get the Great Library or s some other form of library. Just science is always an important thing. Even when going for a culture victory, you're going to need science. Oh no. Oh my god, no. Why are you in my game? This douchebag, man. That douchebag. Where is he? Oh god, and he's number one? Oh man, this is going to be messed up. Where is this guy? Please let him just be really far to the north. I, s I still don't really see where I am. This looks weird. Maybe I didn't... Progressive people. Social policy. So I am... Up, I'm pretty much at the same height as Montezuma and some other unmet people. That's not cool. We got gold, though. Let's uh, start making some farms. Can never hurt. Oh man, where is this douchebag? I really want to know where he is, because I'm super worried now. I thought I was doing so so good so far. God, we have a warrior. Let's actually move him over to La Benta, so that we can destroy their, um... Ooh. Wait, a, what in the... Did I leave that ruin that I saw? I'm such an idiot. Why did I do that? Uh, let's start producing a uh, granary. Get some extra food, just focus on the uh, the development of Paris for now. It is our most important city and I am not comfortable right now with making another one. Oh yeah, got a spearman. Totally dope. Where are we? What is happening here? Well, I guess this could be... Natural wonder, yeah, it's good luck with me finding that. Ruins! Dozens of them. Okay, let's actually get this warrior back to that ruin because ruins are awesome and they can give you such a big help. Especially early on in the game. They can give you extra civ civil civilization, citizens, uh, money, you know, stuff like that. They, they actually give some really good stuff. So let's uh, take it before Rekham Yang does it. A douche bee. Where, where is Monty? See, I'm really worried, and I really want to know where he is hiding. Also, I don't get this map. This doesn't look like the Europe that I know. It looks kind of weird. I guess it has the... Sort of has the shape, but it's not perfect. Oh, God. What? Uh, yep. It's, uh... Ethiopia? And the Celts. Could you please not talk to me? Okay, bye. So, we met a few people. Rekamiyang is number two, Montezuma is number one. We are very low. You're, he's already going to war. Oh, no, I'm okay. I don't even know where she is. 
So we're going to need to make some more units. That is pretty much the uh, the idea here. If we don't make more units, then he's going to overrun us very quickly. Because that guy is just focused on war like nothing else. I'm at Brussels. Okay. Uh, let's just keep moving. I want to find out where Montezuma is hiding. If he's close to me... Yeah, I'll do that, yeah. If he's close to me, then we're going to get in trouble. Okay, so what I also read up on is embassies, and basically if people can see your territory, which um, Hales Selassie can do right now, they can get really jealous of the stuff that you have. All I have is gold, so I don't know how jealous that will... Oh, there she is. I don't know how jealous that will make him. Um, but I guess we'll find out sooner or later. Frickin' embassy. Let's uh, start making another farm, I guess. Dude, you're occupying my ruins. I needed those. Also, for some reason, I have a bonus versus Barbarians, but that might be difficulty level. I'm not quite sure why that is. But we will find out. Okay, Brussels. Got her over there. See, I really want to know where this guy is. This is not making me feel any better. And end of turn. Adopt another policy and a Pantheon. Sweet. So we're going to go with each city you found will increase the culture cost by less than normal because that is actually really great if you're going for a cultural victory. Elsa starts a golden age. Let's do it. I'm going to make some extra money, get some extra production. It's pretty straightforward and nice. Give me the ruin. A map. That really doesn't help me that much. But thanks, I guess. Let's found this pantheon. I want to go with something that gives me culture, I think. Plantations, we have none of those. We have no pastures. Oh, well, we have a shrine. Culture from jungle. For each wine and incense. Plantation. Gold and silver. Ooh. But we only have one gold. We have no silver. I mean, who knows if we ever run into that again. So that could be a big waste. I feel like we should just go with the shrine one. Ancestor worship. Let's, uh... Well, pasture is also kind of a good one, isn't it, though? I mean, it's not... I don't have a pasture yet, but I will get one. A lot more than shrines, presumably. Let's go with pastures. You know, whatever. Even if you don't use like your religion at all like I did in the last game you can still win it's not gonna like cripple you that much they want sugar of course they want sugar everybody wants sugar it's all America's fault oh there's another city state and let's go north okay and that pretty much um, is the length of this video guys I like I said I'm gonna make them a little bit shorter uh, but I'll be back tomorrow with more civilization and then the development of Paris will carry on we're gonna focus on um, Actually, arming ourselves a little bit more, uh, because I don't want to die. I mean, we, we have Montezuma in our game, and we have to be really careful. Everybody kind of likes me, because, you know, we have no contested borders. I'm not going to, you know, get close to them. I'm going to just make cities here, and maybe over there, to get, to get those extra wheels and those pastures and stuff. But I'm not going to go too close to other civilizations, so that is pretty much the plan for now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this first video. And if you did, I would very much appreciate it if you could leave a like. It's not really, you know, like a j huge giant effort, and it really helps me out. So if you feel like doing that, if you're a nice person, then I would very much appreciate it. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you in the next part.